Yo, what's good, people? Welcome back to the Sadly Relatable Podcast. And we back, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we bored of you, bro. Bring back Nishrin. <laughs> yes, guys. Nishrin's on as well. She's not here. She'll be back soon, inshallah. Inshallah. But yeah, um, life. We're back, anyways. Back in the biz. Back with a. Uh, uh, is. You know and we got. Fits. Shakir! I'm back, baby. Shakir! What are you guys telling me? How did you enjoy your first episode? Honestly, I watched it a good three, four times. Marshall, I'll be honest, I, did, I did rewatch I it. I did that my first time. Thing is, well. I hate my voice, by the way, guys. I absolutely hate it. Didn't know I sound like this. It's <laughs> no, disgusting. It sure is. It is a hard realization. Yeah. Even me, when I started uh, filming the podcast, I'd hear it back and literally cringe. I'm like, yeah. oh, that's literally what I sound like. But then you slowly get used to it, and now I'm just like, yeah, that's me. That's life. I love I my voice it. now. Yeah. Now the first time I the first time I did it sitting on in the hot seat, I was like. I twitched that much. I didn't think I twitched because I do oh. like a lot of this and all of that. I'm like, damn, that's just stay cool. still, bro. Like, I'm fidgeting, bears. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, that's how you know you got issues. I literally yeah. watch myself back as well. I'm like, why do I? I'm like, there's things that I just do that are weird or like <laughs> I talk a lot with my hands. I'm like, this, this. It's like I'm bloody whipping up a potion. <laughs> whipping up. How about that? You know, but you know. Um, but yeah, I have a serious, serious question. Oh God. Straight man. away. Very serious. Get straight into it, mate. Kill. When are you taking me to Bangladesh? Because I actually want to go wallah. This is, I love that you asked this. Yeah. I absolutely <laughs> love this. Yeah. We, we talked about this before. Yeah. yeah about we going back to going to Bangladesh, etc. And I see my family there and like trying the cuisine out. Um, would you go and see like their tourist sites? As in, you know, because there's a lot of Bangladesh here Listen, that you don't need to go to the tourist sites. To do see. you know what I want? Go on. I don't want the tourist site. Yeah. I want to come to your family's home. Village. In the village, yeah, and I want to yeah. chill with everyone and just enjoy life there. That's what, I don't care about the tourists, the main places. I just want to chill, come and chill with what the family. What is Bangladesh like, though? Because I know all of them support Barcelona. I love this answer, by the way. <laughs> you know what? Do they actually? They, all of them support Barcelona. They support Argentina more than Barcelona. Really? Because Why? Maradona, mm -hmm. if you guys don't know Maradona, one of the best players ever. Allow it. Yeah, Argentinian. Why, why allow it? Crazy, yeah, sharp. <laughs> but anyway, so he had like a special connection with Bangladesh for some reason. Really? Yeah, like, probably he probably all the cocaine from there, bro. From Bangladesh? Yeah. Probably. From Bangladesh. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no. Like? Yeah, young. this guy doesn't know. He's yeah, young. Yeah, yeah. Do you know how hard it was to find? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Karen, what, what were you saying about my things? About me wanting to come and experience the pure like family life that you got out there. Oh, bro, it's just it's just it's just immense. Like mm. when you go to the village and you just see um, the love you get from the village, etc. And like, the food is what's well. amazing, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you've got to be careful though. I got very ill. Yeah, yeah, of I'm, course. I'm very dumb because I don't have a gallbladder mm -hmm. and I ate like so much Bangladeshi cheese and like mm -hmm. just, I, 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 I got ill straight away. I was in bed for a week, just oh, mashed stress. up. Always, yeah. yeah. Do you get ill on holiday? I always get ill whenever I go to Morocco. Really? And it's always the last two days before I come back home as well. Oh, that's always so But at least that's day. actually all right, to be honest. Because yeah, at least you enjoy... Because on the plane, we're like, Oh, that's the worst. Oh, yeah. that again? You know, if you ever get on a plane with a flu Terrible. and you're clogged, your Long. ears pop. Have you ever had that pain on the flight? Ah, oh, not on a flight. It's different bro. gravy, bro. Have you had it? Yeah, so many times. The sharp pain. Like, yeah, so one time oh. I had it, yeah, and it was... I, I've had it before. Whenever I've come back on a plane and I've got like um, a stuffy nose, anything to do with sinus, your ears, you'll get sharp pain and they like basically Hurts. pop. And they like... And it's a sharp, sharp pain, but it's ridiculous. It hurts so much. It feels like an ear infection, genuinely. And I was mm. coming back from Morocco and I was unwell, yeah. And I had the most pain and to the point where my po my ears popped. And then when I got landed, they were stayed popped mm. and I was still unwell. And it was, it was the most annoying thing ever. And I heard, yeah, if you close your nose and like, Push yeah, it, out. Push, it pops it. It pops it, like gets rid of the air. You but and it's, it's worked for me before. Does that like, hurt I, though? Yeah, I swear it hurts. Kills, yeah. bro. I can literally like do it and hear like air like coming, like releasing the pressure, releasing because that's what it is—the oh. pressure building up in your ear. Mm -hmm. But this time, for some reason, just I don't know if it's, I was just so unwell. I did it so hard that do you know what vertigo is? I've I've heard of it. I'm not too sure what it is. I literally oh. thought I was gonna die. Wallah, because vertigo is basically. Uh, I think it's something to do with you. in your ears. You have this thing where it helps you with your balance. balance yeah, 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 that's yeah, what I thought it was. Yeah. 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 But vertigo is when everything just starts spinning, and mm. you're sta you're still. But imagine you've just come off that thing in, in the park where you spin oh, it, yeah. and it's like you step off, and it's crazy. I'm just sitting in the living room. I do this bare hard, and then all of a sudden, everything's spinning crazy. Walla, in my head, I'm like, I was like, I thought I was gonna die because I went bare tingly, and it was spinning, spinning. And my wife was next to me, and I was like, oh my god, I'm. And I was like, started panicking. I was like, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. And then. Straight away, I just felt this massive, like, obviously, because I'm spinning, you get yeah, dizzy, yeah, yeah. even though I'm just sitting. She must have been so confused. <laughs> well, you she just sees me go like this. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. <laughs> but to me, my whole world is <laughs> <was> spinning. <laughs> you 
just spit it out the whole cup. I was just, like, oh. <laughs> just bare still. And then I just ran to the toilet and threw up bare. I just oh. felt so unwell. It was, mm. it was like the worst thing. But other than that, I'm willing to risk it to go to the Bangladesh. The only thing I'm worried about going there yeah. is this. I don't know if I can handle the spice of the food. So with me, yeah, personally, I try to stay away from spicy food because mm-hmm. my stomach's getting mashed up anyway. But yeah, like... They, they, we have a thing called Nagamoris. I don't know if you've heard of that. No. Yeah, so like Bangladesh is known for this thing called Nagamoris. It's a special chili in it. It's very, it's very hot, etc. the small green is ones. Is that the Naga no. Naga sauce? Mr. Naga. That's it. Big up That's Mr. Naga. Come so on. so hot, bro. Mi- thing is, Mr. So I'll be honest hot. with you, Mr. Naga, and you got Bengali's watching now, yeah. You guys know actually it's not that spicy to us. Yeah. It's more the flavor it's and the smell. To everyone else, it yeah. is spicy, bro, don't get it wrong. Nah, Just don't have too much. I tried it all. My, I can't handle spice. Yeah, bro. yeah. But if, if you have the Naga chili by itself, you chew it. My God, you're dead. I had, it, I had it in a burger. Yeah, well, the nugget, like, nugget chili. The, 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 it's red, isn't it? Mr. Mr. Nugget, yeah. It's red, yeah. right? Am I wrong? I've it's tried. Red, red, I, yeah. I literally dipped my little pinky in and went like this, and I was done. And oh, do you know what's so mad? Long. So, my sister's best friend yeah, yeah. is from, from Bangladesh, and she lived with us for like a few years. Mm. Um, and she would cook for us. Now, the food was always delicious, and she would tone down the spice, but mm. I'm talking like to her, it was toned it down to, she felt like there was nothing there. Yeah. And we'd eat it and I'd be sweated. It was good, but mm. I'd be, I'm there like, this is too good to like not <laughs> stop, but yeah. I'm like suffering at the same time. But it's, it's there's this weird balance of like pleasure and suffer. There's like a thin line where it's like, it's so good, but it's so painful at the same this time. Is the weird, this is a weird thing about me is that I physically get ill if I eat too much spicy food yet. Okay. But I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah. And I, I think, so why do I let myself suffer that much here? But I, was like, I love that little kick. I love that little buzz I get. It's kind of nice when you have the running note. You're like, <laughs> you're like by the way, guys, uh, uh, maybe don't take my advice here, but it helps you lose weight. <laughs> but I don't take that advice though, because I ruin myself doing that. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah I, I, I eat like crazy spicy sauce on my, on my food all the time. No. But bear weight, bear, bear fat, but Jeez. not good for your stomach. Just I'm so. a medium all the way, man. Yeah, Never are. any more than that. You are I a bit of a Boring. <laughs> <laughs> At least a little lemon and herb, bro. To be, lemon and herb, actually, the flavor is actually really nice. Flavor is banging, nice, yeah. but, the, but um, I'm kind of like you. I did get to a point where I started enjoying spice. Because yeah, yeah. it's like a tolerance thing. The more you slowly work your way up to it, the then more you can take. Tolerate, yeah. And there was a point where I was slowly having like spicier stuff. And I started using more hot sauce. and like, the, You actually... It is very enjoyable when you get there, but as soon as you stop for a bit and go back, it's almost like you just Maybe reset. One little cheat code: add a bit of mayo into things because you get, you get yeah, spicy mayo down. and that sort of. I love spicy I'm mayo. I'm not really man. a mayo guy. Disgusting. Really? Get him out of it. <laughs> get him right, out of right, it. Right. I just get up. Okay, wait, uh, how can you not like mayo, bro? Do you like mayo? Um, I wouldn't put it on like chips or anything like that. But if it's in the burger, then I don't mind. That's it's, what uh, I'm. Th- you know what I'm saying? You like, know what? My, listen, I created this mad. He's gonna lie now. He's gonna lie now. It's burger sauce and sweet chili. Oh Here my he god! Uh, yeah, listen, because um, he likes to steal it. Who, I'm gonna say it. No, no, I, I, I took it. I, don't I know took who showed it. me. Uh, it was Jamie. What the hell? <laughs> no, you showed Jamie. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, know, I, I, I was in, I was in Z. They already know this story. Big up I, Z. They know that I invented a sauce mixture that everyone around me uses now and tries yeah, to make it. Yeah, I did, I did it. Yeah. I did it. <laughs> this, this, is, this guy, you're causing me to gain calories. It's your fault, bro. Yeah, it's so it good. It's such a good bro, sauce. Bro, we actually put the hot, half the bottle in. Yeah, it's kind of bad. Yeah. But um, so in Bangladesh, yeah. I have some questions. Go on in. Because, like, not just that. In general, you see like Pakistan, India, Bangladesh. I feel like there's this almost not there's a stigma or pre pre consumption consumption no way no conception preconception I said it right I said it right you always said pre consumption I said you heat overpowered me did I did I I did that a lot in it but anyway what do you mean he slapped my bum today no never I did that continue bang the day say what say what consumptions exactly consumptions Oh, you crackheads. I can't um, believe it. Yeah, so there's preconceptions that like you're, it's not like they think of like lower status or maybe like you can't go there and have a good holiday. It's just fa- like you're just going to see family and village and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Or like there's a negative, I don't know, not a, is it a stigma? I don't know what it is. I think, uh, yeah, maybe. They think stigma. it's a bit, uh, uh, a bit who's, unsafe. Who's they? Who's they? The Western world. Oh, bundle Western yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know joking, what, do joking, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm pointing at you again, but. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Well, third world. They probably call it a third yeah, world country, that's, that's, that sort of stuff. That's the word I'm looking yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. So, but I've been seeing videos, first of all, of Pakistan, of people traveling there, and it looks beautiful. It's on my list. Like, yeah. I 100% want to go, inshallah. Mm, sure. yeah. But I also want to go, obviously, for me, I'd like to go to Bangladesh because I could go with you and mm. I want to, like, 
see what it's like going to your village where I know your dad does a lot of work mm. there and it helps the community. So I don't know, it'd be so sick to go there and be a part of that. Bro. Can you speak, ba- what, what's the language? He's Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Yeah, so it's Bangla, but the thing is, Can you speak so uh, by the way, guys, we're going to start uh, the thing is counter as well on this podcast because <laughs> we say it a lot, mm-hmm. the thing is. But anyway. Um, He's about to say it there. <laughs> yeah, I was about to close. But uh, yeah, so I speak Sileti. Sileti, is, they, mm. we've got different dialects in Bangladesh mm-hmm. and Sileti is kind of known a bit more, it's a bit more colloquial language sort of thing. Correct. Like, huh? Yeah. yeah. Colloquial. Curricular, no colloquial. What's colloquial? It means like a bit slangy kind oh, of stuff. Sorry, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. So our main language is actually um, from Dhaka. Dhaka is our capital. Yep. Yeah, that. and that's Shuddhabasha. Shuddhabasha. I'll be honest with you, it's very beautiful. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I can't speak. It. I can understand it, but I can't mm. speak it. But okay. it's really nice. Like I think it was voted the sweetest language in the world. Really? Yeah, yeah. Shuddhabasha is amazing, but so I just can't. Different like dialects within the country. Basically. Yeah. So you get that in India as well. India's got so many languages. Mm. Hindi yeah. ain't the only one. You got like. Hun- like, I don't know if a hundreds, but like a hundred, like around very oh, high amount of so different languages, well, different dialects. Sick. Sorry, in India. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, um, so, I remember you telling me a story once of something that happened to you in Bangladesh. What? With a cow. Oh, you, how do you remember this? <laughs> it's like it's something that I always, whenever I think of you, I you know, Abe, you came, you came prepared just... today. That this is some good shit. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> so basically, I'm because okay, so I went to Bangladesh when I was one years old. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, we ended up going to Bangladesh. Yeah. It was meant to be for like six weeks, six weeks holiday. Yeah, I came back when I was four. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so I spent. I got some stories about Bangladesh, bro. I got some crazy stories yeah, about Bangladesh. Yeah, like, I'm talking gin possessions. <laughs> oh, ooh. yeah, I've I've seen some crap. Damn. Yeah, I've seen some stuff. Yeah. Damn. He's been through it. <laughs> but anyway, so the cow won. Yeah, I was like maybe two years old or three years old. Yeah, and um, I was I was a bit of a twat when I was when I was a kid. Mm. Like um, I kicked um, I kicked a calf, like the baby cow in it. Oh. Yeah. And his mum was there, like for a bit further away. Yeah, yeah. but his mum saw me do it. And um, his mum was chained up here, yeah, but it's Bangladesh, so the chains are like wooden, bro. Like, you get me? Like, just, they come out of the cow run. Yeah. And that's what happened. The cow ran at me. Wow. And I'm like, I'm like two, three years old. My legs are like, probably not longer than this, but. Um, <laughs> 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 yeah, so, yeah, always are smaller and shit. So I'm trying to run. And then luckily, I had like a nanny to look after me. This cow's charging at me, it's going crazy. And luckily, the nanny comes and she sees me, she runs and she like grabs me and like saves me. But I could have died, bro. Yeah. Damn. I could have actually died if that Damn. cow got to me, yeah. Near life death experience. Yeah, near, yeah, exactly, bro. Why'd you kick the calf, bro? Huh? Why'd you kick the calf? I was, you know what? <laughs> I, I actually don't know. I was a kid, yeah, <laughs> and I was just, I was quite aggressive towards Ooh. animals when I was a kid. No, Ooh. no, no, no. That's no, like no. that's like okay, uh, serial killer okay, no, tendencies, no, 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 bro. But when I say aggressive, yeah, it's just like. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That, uh, when I was yeah. a kid, though, when I was a kid, though, like, I completely mm. changed now. And that was me being stupid. Oh, yeah. I was, I was no, me, fair enough. Yeah, that's you do super shit like when you're a kid. Ha- yeah. have you have, do you have any like funny experiences in Morocco from when you were younger? Like any memories? Um, any memories in Morocco? Yeah, I do have one. Go on basically, on. Uh, my nan, she lives like in a massive apartment like building. Yeah. yeah. And they like my cousins always told me like don't go downstairs in the basement like in the car park because mm-hmm. there's a massive cow in there. Mm-hmm. Another cow story. <laughs> hey, um, nice. And then Ooh. one of my older cousins, Eamon, he dragged me in there. Yeah, I go in. I'm like, hey, oh, pi- it's pitch black. <laughs> <laughs> it's pitch black. I'm like, okay, it's getting that. Oh, his. <laughs> oh, like, get me out of here now, bro. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm never doing that again. But I do have one story. <laughs> I have a cool story. <laughs> we were laughing the other day about Edmund's stories. <laughs> his, his stories are always like just a sentence long. <laughs> there's no, there's like, oh, there's shit. no like backstory. It's always just like a whole sentence of like I walked, found this, and saw it, and I was like, wow. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not good. I'm not a good storyteller, but I'll I'll, I'll, tr- I'll try better with this one. Yeah, good. basically, um, we were on the topic of internationality and all of that. So what? <laughs> <laughs> international things. <laughs> Uh, so basically, one things. Okay, not funny. like that. <laughs> okay. Basically, okay. in year seven, we were going on a France trip. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Boom. Man's going France. I'm on the bus. I bought some fresh new Jays as well. Jordan 11s. In year, in year seven. Okay. Come like that. on. I was a guy. So you were able to go on the France trip? Yeah. I didn't go. My parents couldn't afford this. My sister went. I didn't go though. Oh, I, I got um like Help. support. Come but, on. but was it like skiing as well? Was that just no, no, no I couldn't afford. I couldn't afford oh, ski. I'll talk about ski. No, ski no, ski I could no. not afford that. No, bro. so this trip was basically we'll just go into France, looking around, and coming back. Bro, I was yeah. so jealous of the ski trip, man. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah I've always been... wanted to do that. I was so jealous. I was yeah. like, uh, carry on. Yeah. Anyways, so we go there. We 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 go have fun. Blah blah blah. And then whilst we're, we're coming back, okay, and they're doing petrol and everything like that. And then like the people, the security guards, they have to check like the cars, make sure everything's all right. Not like no one's in there. Mm. So tell me why someone in the flipping engine room of this massive bus is just a re- uh, refugee person trying to get into England. 
Mad. <laughs> He's like, they got my uncle. <laughs> Mad. You know what, guys? Cancel this guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Like, and the thing is, whilst, yeah, we're sitting, journey, you know. whilst we're sitting on a bus coming back as well, like, we have... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, no. Right, no whilst on, whilst we're coming on. back, like we heard noises coming from that place. Obviously, we didn't think of any, anything about it. But then, yeah, they found him. Like I saw him get dragged out and everything like that. Mad. Bro, that's yeah. Mad. Thing like, is, yeah, hot engine room. I'll be honest. Well. It's more likely it's from Morocco. Yeah, yeah, it's I'm more likely. likely. But Morocco, no, he, he was Moroccans just, are always doing that. It was just a friend. No, what, I'm talking about in France though, because I swear there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of Moroccans in France, aren't there? Yeah, there are quite a lot. Yeah. But apparently, I might be wrong, guys, but there's a piece of land in Morocco that's mm. owned by Spain and it's fenced off. And if you they people are always trying to climb the fence and get onto the land of that land because then you're in Spain and you're and you're under that government, meaning that you can actually travel to oh, Spain. Oh, okay. I mean, I feel like we I should know this. I might be wrong. You know, like Spain owns some land yeah. in Morocco, basically. Because Spain's so close to Morocco. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I might actually be completely wrong, but from what I know, <laughs> they own some land. Imagine I'm right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They own some land and it's like obviously fenced off, mm. but a lot of people, and I think it is a bit of an issue, like some of them, potentially get injured or like mm. get prison time or whatever but they try climb the fence to get there obviously mm. so they're in Europe oh, do you know what I mean mad. imagine you're in Africa and you're trying to make it to Europe but all you have to do is climb a fence yeah and like that's crazy but, you're, like st but you're still in Africa yeah. yeah you're still in Africa but it's owned yeah, by yeah, Europe yeah. is it kind of like the American border then it might yes yeah, what, what are the country. benefits of being there I think that's once you're there you're in Europe you can travel around the route in Europe yeah I, I'm pretty sure you can like maybe try to become a citizen try to get someone to fall in love with like you. Like, because if you get into that place, <laughs> you can get a boat to go into Europe. Ah. You know, no, but then you still need a passport. Uh, yeah. So what is the game plan? Do you think they get in I and like, go think, to all right. A little party, that's oh. all. Imagine words didn't have a meaning. What words would be nice to like name your baby? Do you go, I'll give you like a little, uh, give you a little one because I saw that on TikTok. Like for instance, chlamydia would be like one. Like, oh, what are you saying, Clids? You all right? <laughs> Clids. <laughs> you say chlamids. <laughs> you good. That's my name, chlamydia. That, that that is so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> out of every word out there, you chose. No, but it's but like forget about the meaning completely and just think of so, the actual. Okay, word. so we're purely thinking of just just the word. The word. Think uh, now, forget about what that word that what that word means and think of it. Like, imagine like, naming a child like, "Oh, you're right, chlamydia." Yeah, <laughs> nah, that's, 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 that's a like, dead name. But it's like oh, Lydia. He's, he's no, 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 that's not, that's not that. I oh. get, I get. It's like Lydia. I <laughs> 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 no, but you know it's like a longer version of video. I get what you're, I get what you're trying to do, but yeah. I don't think chlamydia works. No, I don't think. Because I know what you name one them. Um, all right, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. It's a hard one. You um, know. that's just I saw that on TikTok. That's the one I'm giving you guys. Oh, that's um, actually one I would use. Have you thought of another word though? Um, I think like trumpet would be nice. Trump? Tr what? Trumpet? Trumpet? No, calling your child trumpet? You're mad. You're not getting me, bro. But you no, he, me. he, he was, me he was like, oh, that's actually hard. I mean, until you said. I figured I saw your face. Though. Yeah. You like that. He was like, oh, oh, trumpet. And he went, no, oh, ah, I, was trumpet. About, no, I was thinking about it. Trumpet. No. Trumpet. Let me think. It's not an instrument. No. Were you saying trumpet? No, <laughs> no. You always say xylophone. <laughs> oh, God. That would be up one time. Maybe xylophone. But yeah, the, the first bit, the first was hard, the phone. Xylophone. Yeah, but you can also have like a nickname. Oh, Xylo, you're right. Yeah, Xylo's a common nickname. But like Xylophone. Like, nah, it's called phone now, no. What about weed? Weed. Nah, that's, that's dead. Yeah, are we saying weed? Oh, that's a good nickname though. That's a good nickname. That yeah, like ha how weed. Like imagine they've got how weed just to be like, oh, yo, wait, weed. That's like a little what? nickname. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually can't think about, right now I'm thinking about rose, but that rose already means something. I'm thinking yeah. about because night day fiance, they'll call rose on it. Uh, table. I don't know. Table. 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 I think that could work. Table. Yo, table. Yo, table. Yo, table. Yo, table. Nice. You guys are not doing it properly because you're just giving nicknames. Yo, table. table. You're right. Yeah, ta oh, table ain't bad. Table's nice. Table, table get in now. Yo, <laughs> furniture. Nah, I don't really work. Nah, don't listen, work. guys. Ruined it. Forget what table means and yeah. just imagine it's a name. Table's a nice name. Table yeah, sounds like nice it could name. be a nice girl's name as well. Table, yeah, real table. Oh, Yo, I, I smashed it with table, table. bro. I smashed it with table. Table. Come on. Table is what good. What bottle? I just had a newborn nah. baby. <laughs> table. Is, guys, meet my baby, table. Oh my God, yeah. table looks so cute. Table sounds cold. I'm named Mike nice. table now. Well, I'm getting a cat corner at table. <laughs> bro, yeah. table is actually Table's flat. Hard. Table. I'm like lost. It's not even the, there is no meaning to it now. It's just a name. <laughs> it's table. Just a name. It sounds so elegant. It sounds like what Cinderella's sister yeah. would be called. Hey, please, if you have a child, inshallah, please don't call it table. <laughs> <laughs> I get a bit too excited. Please don't. Welcome table. <laughs> um, what else? Gosh, I'm, I'm you, calling child oh, services. Bro. Give us one, Chair. Nah. For a guy. Chair. Imagine he's like the. He's a prince. Chair. 
Ch- chair ain't bad. Chair, chair ain't bad. Because it's giving me like, sh- it's giving better. me chair vibes, a bit of Chad vibes. Chair. 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 Yeah. Prince chair. This guy's stuck Prince on all chair. these STDs. Yeah. No the more. <laughs> Come yeah. on, please, guys. Uh, what about socket? What, what about socket? Why do you want a socket? Socket. <laughs> why? Yo, socket. We Firstly, saying? yeah. Why do you know so many STDs? I don't, I don't like this. Socket. I don't like this. Socket. Socket. Like yeah, a pug I, socket. Yeah, I, don't, I know it's socket. Yeah, so why do you call... Uh, that's not an STD. I know it's not, but you are. <laughs> <laughs> socket. Socket. Nah, no, no. Bolt? Bolt. Potentially. Oh, they but basically the dogs they fall yeah, dog. yeah. yeah. That like cartoon, yeah. Or the movie, um, yeah, yeah. All right, one more, one more. I'm thinking... Shirt. No. Shirt? Shirt. Tape. Tape's all right. Tape. Imagine an, a guy, oh, he's, he's a skateboarder. Oh. Yeah. Putting up to the skate park in America. We've got a mullet. Yo, tape's here, tape's here. Where's my <gasps> tape? Oh, that's hard. Tape Zini. That is Are you telling me? Very, very cool. Oh, so he's like, he's so rocking. So we got table, we got tape. And what else? Do we have another one? Socket. No, we don't have Just socket. Just give me no. a please. No one involves chair. Chair, 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 table, Ooh. and tape. Cool. I made the fucking segment. I don't get what surface right. All right, guys, comment <laughs> down surface below, yeah, which one's the hardest one out of them three. I think table's bare cute. I think table's nice. Table's it sounds like a little, like, Cinderella, princess, yeah, yeah, yeah. table. I think... Chair's okay. I like, I'm getting to like chair. I think table's better. Ta- tape's hard though. Yeah. I think Ta- tape's hard. hard, yeah. So, um, sorry, back to Bangladesh. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Would you actually take me with you to Bangladesh? Yes, yeah, so we talked about this before. And I was like, the only thing that I was worried about is because, uh, but you've been to Morocco, so you understand when you get like people give you a lot of attention. And, like, yeah, yeah. I was scared because I got a lot of attention here. Yeah, like, when I used to go outside, I got like jumped by like crowds of people oh. wanting, wanting money, that sort of oh. stuff. Oh, I thought you meant, <laughs> well, I don't know why. When you said you got jumped by crowds, I imagine you like crowd surfing. They were like, "He's on company, Jet." No, that, <laughs> that. To be fair, obviously, obviously, we get a really nice reception from our village, and that sort yeah, of stuff's yeah. amazing. But when you go, would you go shopping and stuff like that, like to the markets and stuff? You're like that? gonna do the itinerary, brother. I'm just turning up to your uh, country. But that's what I'm asking. Would you be on that? I'm down to do because, anything. Okay, I was quite. Do you too, think people will stare at me like, "Who is this guy?" Yeah. So yeah. So if you if you have like your beard lined up, if you got a trim. And I was stupid, yeah, because I wore, I wore some night crepes that light up in the dark. I didn't realise they did. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Jokes. So at night time, yeah, I was an easy target. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> I'm moving everywhere. I was just following me like, oh, crap, what the shoe, bro? And I, follow the light. <laughs> 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 it's like you know them, um, when the plane's about to go off and the guy's there with the light <laughs> <laughs> this way <laughs> oh, that's uh, hilarious yeah but yeah so I got yeah so if you're if you're cool with being stared at and like obviously you've dealt with like being stared at and stuff yeah, like yeah. that like, not interested in Cambridge but <laughs> 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 but um, yeah and f- are they welcoming very welcoming uh, yeah yeah very welcoming I'm not too sure about the crowds that I'm talking about that like, because you want to get a lot of beggars basically. Yeah, but um, I think that a lot of countries are like that. A lot of countries have that, yeah. yeah but Same in Morocco. And yeah, it, yeah, yeah, 100%, yeah. But if you're comfortable with that, mm. then then that's, that should be fine, yeah. Only problem, that, the main thing is if, if I was to take you with me is just we have to be very careful of what you eat because I've been in the market when I've got stomach pain and yeah. let me tell you, the toilets aren't the best. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of mosquitoes as well. So I had a mosquito spray. I nearly died spraying mosquito spray in a toilet because um, couldn't I, breathe. I couldn't breathe. I was, um, in, I was in a small toilet. Uh, I got, I got the shits. Um, <laughs> yeah, and uh, there was mosquitoes everywhere. And I'm like, I say it's my face as well. <laughs> That's everywhere. how much you didn't want it. You're like, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> but I didn't die. It's fine. That's That's sick, bro. Don't you think it's crazy? Like going back home and realizing how simple life could be. Because I understand some, a, a lot of them maybe have less, mm. but it kind of forces you to live a certain way that I think some of them are a lot more content than people out here in the West. Like, even when I went, for example, to Senegal, mm. bro, as soon as I went there, like, I felt like my reality kind of changed because I saw people living in a way that was so, like, natural. They were, they had their own farming and everything and they had these nice, like, they built their own houses and these, like, like some of the houses were actually built out of the land, like the mud mm, and everything. Nice, yeah. And it was so, like, but the thing is, they kept everything so nice and clean. It was almost like walking around a new build estate but it's all just like land and they've built it themselves. Yeah. And I just thought, man, imagine like not worrying about anything other than just living with your family and surviving. And it's like how we used to live. And yeah. I, that's the thing. That's what I didn't want to leave, man. I was yeah. like, bro, I, like I was born to like be in the jungle eating mangoes. Like I'm just, I'm just born for this life. You get me? Mm. Kind of sick. Um, but yeah, man, like. So is gone. Bangladesh where you're from? Sorry to cut you off. Is it like a lot of tree and wooded like area or is yeah, it more so like I'm hot? from, it like? okay. So my mom, my, my mom and dad are from two different places. Yeah. <laughs> 
My, they're not related. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the first. You don't get that often. But, <laughs> that's actually a little flex I got. But, <laughs> but anyway, so my dad is from a place called Osmani Nagar, yeah? Yeah. Um, that that yeah. sounds hard. That yeah. does sound that hard. That's so a hard. name. Imagine, oh, that's a name. That's it's a my son, Osmani Nagar. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's a place, yeah. But it, it's a name, oh, though. That's true, yeah. Osmani, <laughs> that's a hard name, yeah. But um, yeah, that's in the village. Mm-hmm. That's like right in the village, yeah. And my mom, she's from a place called Sri Mongol. And... But if you went to Sri Mongolia, you'd love it because they have like amazing tea gardens. That's where like in Bangladesh, if I'm right, that's where the main tea is. Like where tea is kind of uh, oh, okay. cultivated, so etc. They, et they farm it, etc. Okay, and I'll be going around like with my uncle and uh, we'd be going around on like a rickshaw. You know what a rickshaw is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'd be going around there and there'd be like a rickshaw driver showing us around all the hills and like, the the, uh, the mountains and everything. It's all, it's all really beautiful. I say mountains, maybe not mountains, but like hills, hills and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Oh, really pretty. Can Emin come too? Hundred percent. Come man. on. Would you 100%. go? To be honest, would you go? Thing is, you guys uh, would be taller than everyone. Is it? Yeah, everyone's shorter than me. <laughs> really? Yeah, but I'm not that short. Guy. <laughs> hey, guys, guys, you guys are gonna violate now, yeah? <laughs> they made me both like, <laughs> no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But bond this podcast, yeah. I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> no, I'd, I'd love to go back to this. Like, I'm, I'm my like my close friend of mine. Like he showed me videos of it. it looks sick. Like, yeah, especially you know, the jungle part, like all the trees and all that. Oh, so uh, there's a lot of water in Bangladesh. Yeah, yeah so I saw like massive fountains. And there stuff there is an issue. Fountains. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, I saw massive fountains. My <laughs> bad. So when I meant, yeah, when I meant water, I meant like rivers, that sort of stuff. Yeah, massive yeah. water fountains. <laughs> I was drinking. But, uh, I meant um, don't drink the water though. Yeah, don't drink the water. Please be very careful. So like, what? Yeah, can you only drink? Can you only drink bottled water? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Only yeah. whatever yeah. country you go to, you should only drink bottled so water. So this, this is where water. me and my family messed. Water. Well, it's one, 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 my family and I being posh. Mm-hmm. Is where we messed up. Yeah, is because even on the first day, um, we had salad. We had the food that my cousin was was making, etc. Yeah. But they would use water that they use for the salad oh, and stuff like that. I see. And also, if you, the food is a bit cold too, like, and I did, we didn't want to be them guys who'd be like, oh, can you please heat it up, etc. Because mm. we didn't, we don't want to be bougie like that. Yeah, and yeah. We'll eat whatever. Mess, mistake. Really? <laughs> Such a mistake. I was so ill, bro. Okay. So, so uh, all I need to do is when I come, bring my own microwave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dash it do in. We, do, do they have microwaves? Do I see? I think I did, I'm pretty sure I did see some microwaves. I think I think there was. So do you do you do the thing that we all used to do, like? We'd go and then we'd have to visit each house to like sh- of our families to like show that we've arrived and like. So when we go to Morocco, mm. if we're gonna see one family, we have to see all our aunties and uncles. So we do one day going to theirs, have mm. dinner, then go to theirs, have dinner, Does then go to theirs, have, and it's just like you have to take so much time just going to yeah. see everyone. Yeah. So we did that, but luckily last time I went, we there was a lot of charity events going on as well. So mm-hmm. like we had family members and like fr- family friends who came to us oh, so it's like for the charity event. Two and stuff. birds, one stone. Yeah, because basically I was there with two of my other uncles, my older uncles. And um, I think it was like, it meant like, uh, they did charity work for my grandparents who passed away mm. quite a long time ago, mm-hmm. but they, they have charity in their name, etc. that sort of stuff. So they just, just for my grandparents again, because my uncles haven't been there in a while together and my dad as well. So they decided to have a big charity event and yeah, it was really nice. Like, um, to see like everyone come in and help the community out, basically. That's yeah. Sick, yeah, that is what beautiful, that? man. Yeah, that's beautiful. I wanted to do more like charity work, and like deployments where you actually go out and do the charity and hand the <clears throat> the aid out and everything. I think it would be. I saw an amazing um, experience. yeah, Beta Squad. They went out. They went out recently to Kenya. Oh, that's and they, so they started they started um, building because basically the charity match that they're doing. Yeah, uh, they're donating it all to, to African w- countries to yeah to water companies. Like, uh, yeah, water companies oh, to build wells. The so they went to Kenya because that's one of the spots that they're mainly w- fo- uh, focusing on. And yeah, they're building wells there. Kenya looks beautiful. Kenya as well. is amazing. Yeah, I really want to travel more of Africa. Like mm, I just feel same. like I want to like experience it. And no, I've, I've only been, Africa, been anyway. Morocco. That's it. That's I want. Have you, oh yeah, you have. Have you, have you been to any other country? I've been to France and Greece. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you're still young to be honest. Yeah. You, you can build that lift yeah, up, Shalom. Shalom. Yeah. Um, I really want to go to Tanzania and like Zanzibar, which is just off it, basically like a little island. Off okay, it. yeah. But <clears throat> it looks so beautiful there, and it's quite crazy because I think we forget how big Africa is and how Huge. many. Like yeah. you could spend your life just traveling Africa yeah. and like still enjoy such a different scenery mm. in every like everywhere you go. Because even in Senegal, the environments <laughs> change so much. When you're in the north, it's more like dry desert sand. And then you go to the south and it's literally like a rainforest. Really? Like, it's crazy. It was like, I felt like I was in two different countries because we stayed in the north and then in the How south. How big is the country? Is it quite a large country as well? Um, is it bigger than Morocco? I don't know. Potentially the same kind of size. Mm. But they have 
Um, let me see if I can get it up. You on should here. definitely go to Morocco, though. Yeah, you'd love it, Morocco. But have this you not been? I've never been, but I probably wear my Morocco top. So if I'm before on the back, Come on, oh, yeah. 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 all I say, just please don't go to Mar- Marrakesh or Marrakesh. Mar- Mar- Marrakesh, what's it's that? Mar- Is that Mar- Marrakesh. Is that how you say it normally? Mar- oh, you say it, I call it Marrakesh. Well, people like Moroccans call it Marrakesh. Okay, so that's but, the way um, you should say it. Okay, Marrakesh is for me personally. People from Marrakesh, I apologize in it, but it's a bit of a dead place for me. Why is that? Because everyone goes there because they're fascinated about the market and all that. Mm. But the market's small. Just like bare polluted as well. You can't even breathe when you're there, bro. How big's the market though? Small, like, right, w- way smaller than people. Oh actually yeah, think. you know that famous market that I see people. That it's not a market. Like you just, you just, just go in there. Yeah, there's yeah. just a bit of food, and then at the back there's a bit of a market. It's it was so under like underwhelming. Oh, underwhelming. Marrakesh market. I, and I, just, I go. Like, I thought it was gonna Marrakesh. be like a huge thing. I go Marrakesh. Where are you guys from? In where are you guys from in Morocco? We're again? from Meknes. Meknes. Meknes is like not far from Fez. If anyone knows where that is. Fez is. Yeah, is that a, that's a village, though, isn't it? Village kind of. Area. It's a bit more bougier than a village. Village, I say. Yeah. Like they've got like we got big. I can't believe this guy got circumcised in Morocco, bro. For that's got, so peak. Bro, yeah. <laughs> that's really? so peak. Nah. Yeah. Man got held down. The thing is, I got circumcised quite late. In England, when you were like fifteen, right? Nah, relax, relax, relax. <laughs> no, I got circumcised when I was maybe like eight or ten years old. I don't know how old I was. Yeah, really? and, and, and I got I got circumcised. Maybe it's calm. I got was it in a hospital though? No, <laughs> actually, actually, was it? I think in England, it, it, it was it was in like crime. Yeah, it was in Luton, bro. So, oh, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe I got messed up. <laughs> no, I'm joking. So, what happened? Tell me. Do you remember? Um, so. The first time, yeah, I actually got denied. They told me I was too fat. I was like, "What the hell?" What? <laughs> yeah, the same place. I went. I went there twice, isn't it? Yeah. They told me. They told me I was too fat to get circumcised. I was like, "Bro, that's so. <laughs> that is so deep." The reason I had it so late is because my dad was hearing rumors that there's like some fake, like people going around with like fake certificates doing it. And to be fair, one of my friends here, yeah, I'm not gonna say your name. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna say your Full name. Girl, yeah, that he's um had to he had to do it twice. What? In England, I believe. Yeah. The oh, first guy. The first know. guy messed up. And then he had to do, get it done again. And what? We, yeah. How'd I, you mess that up? I don't know. But well, that hard is it? But he's married now, alhamdulillah. So I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hoping. Shouldn't get the preview. <laughs> <laughs> you can't put that in. Why can't you put that in there? That's funny. That's jokes. That's funny, man. <laughs> Isn't it? Keep that in too, bro. You know what? I'm done with you guys cancelling everything. I found that funny. <laughs> Oh, hilarious oh my god anyway <laughs> yeah yeah so my dad was just scared about that and i got it done quite late mm. yeah but i had a big, big celebration I, my dad gave me a psp he gave me a psp Jeez. PSP. how much were psps back in the day because i remember my dad gave me one bro that's wait maybe i, I got some mad package here because i think it's my 10th birthday so i must have been 10 years old yeah. oh, okay. it's my 10th birthday plus circumcision 10 is quite a big birthday you, no i'm saying old for circumcision oh it is yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it is because I, I don't remember how old i was i think i was like Potentially like two. I should have got done when I was a baby. Yeah. That, that should have happened, yeah. But I got I got a white PSP and it came with like loads of games. So I put mm-hmm. that 300 quid. It's quite a Damn, lot. That's a lot Bro, back, in back then. Yeah, yeah. But back then. spend that much money on me. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, but no. How did, I get, how did I convince him to do that? What? Say that again? Like, I don't know how I got my dad to. But yeah, did you get bare games of it too? Yeah. Second hand. No, it was from the, he went. He brought it oh, brand went, new went, in the store. Went respect with me. Respect his it. father, okay? Put, I, I do. Put some right. respect on his name. Yeah, trust because yours is a lame. Don't play oh. this game. I've been doing it since day, and I spit on the bar because I spit real crazy. Skills over there, he's looking real lazy, Please. but he's enjoying himself. You know we're what? on the no podcast today, and we're guys. talking about health. Ah, uh, circumcision. He got it real late, and that's why his isn't looking too great. <laughs> How do you know? I've never Evan told me. <laughs> Evan, I bro. didn't do any of that. Yeah, right, moving but, on. Um, what, so he, the guy's married now? He's yeah, married now. Wait, wait, wait. Why are we going to that? Let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. Wait, wait. Yeah. Let's start again. So the guy's married. <laughs> just wait. Just start again. So the guy's married now? Yeah. No, not you. Yeah, he got married recently. I don't want to ask. I don't don't talk about children right no, now. I'm not going. Okay. Start again. Is the guy married now? Yes. Oh, that's amazing. Um, Guys, what would like. So again, <laughs> but are you gonna have to cut this out? No, no, leave it. Yeah. Is he going married now? Yes. Oh, that's it. So I've got a question for you guys. Actually, like, yeah. What would you guys do? Let's say you're <laughs> loud like, segment cold, isn't it? Okay. What would you guys do? Yeah. It's your wedding day. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. And then someone proposes. I know. I know. Normally in Islamic weddings, you don't propose. You know, but let's say like hypothetically, hypothetically, we're not Muslim. No, 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 no,
that's what I had to put my mindset into that. Yeah. Because I don't, I didn't even have a wedding like that. So to True. me, I'm like, I don't know, that's never going to happen. Mm. But if I was someone that cared about weddings and someone proposed. Uh, let's say Shaquille dropped on one knee and was like, Samantha, I love you. Samantha. Marry me. Name, name and person. Yeah, the girl you spoke about in the last episode, Samantha. Yeah, fair play. <laughs> Time. <laughs> so in my head, my initial reaction is, what the hell are you lot doing trying to take my limelight? Damn. Yeah. But when I actually think about it, I think I'd be like, woo, let's go. Yeah. Like, it doesn't, it's what limelight they're taking it. They're here, everyone's here for me anyway. Yeah. If anything, it's more exciting that you have this memory and on our wedding, we can be like, oh, someone else is going to get, like, it's just excitement. You, no, you know what, what it's because we're, we're guys. Yeah. yeah. We don't care about all that's the really. That's the thing, like, like, that's why I saw online. Yeah. It really depends on my wife here. She's going to get pissed off yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be annoying like guys come on man it's our day but I'll be honest my wedding yeah I'll be honest I do not care about my wedding if one of your boys was to propose at your wedding you'd be like yeah that's my guy Yeah, that's it. big yeah, up and then you've got your wife death staring you at oh me. if she does that I'll be like get out right? <laughs> your wife your wife your wife your wife your wife your boy yeah? it's their day <laughs> <laughs> alright it's so selfish <laughs> wait to your boy or to your, or to your wife then obviously like if my wife obviously cared, I'll tell yeah. him, I'll, I'll be like a bit annoyed. Yeah, but the thing is, yeah, you can't <laughs> stop them midway. <laughs> <laughs> he's already one knee. He's like, marry me, please. And yeah, you're I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, 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 to let it happen. Too, it's too late. You can't be like, stop this. Yeah, you got, you got to let it happen. And then, <laughs> Don't answer. Top yeah. ten biggest blocks, bro. You just yeah, block yeah. To you got to let it happen, and you just, you just got to have to like take yeah. it in that your wife's just not gonna like your friend. Me personally, I'd be gassed if if one of my boys was to propose. If it's some random person, like, why are you doing my wedding? But if it's one of my boys. I'll be like, yeah, go on, lad. Emin. Yo. Yo. Are you going to go to his? Nah. Um, <laughs> Inshallah. If you were to get married, would yeah. you say you'd have like a big wedding? Um, That's a very good question. I won't lie to you. When I was younger, I was like, yeah, of course, I want everyone to be there, blah, blah, blah. But me personally, I'd rather have a little small nikah and uh, maybe an after, like a little after party of like my family and their family. But then I'd rather um, ha- spend the money on like a good honeymoon and charity as well. Me personally. Yourself? Mm-hmm. That's a good question. To be fair, yeah, so like when I was younger as well, um, probably same thing. Yeah. I probably ex- expected to have a big wedding because Bengalis, yeah, my goodness, mm. these weddings. They go off. They, yeah. I, do, I do find Bengali weddings a bit boring though. Really? Mm. I'll be honest with you. Mm. We're, we're a bit different to different cultures because Bengali weddings, we're, we're, we're quite religious sometimes. Like we don't really play music sometimes. That's um, good. No dancing, that That's sort good. of stuff. Yeah. So you go there, you go to eat and you just go take pictures. And this guy I invited to my sister's wedding there. Do you know how late he came? <laughs> You came you come so late. It wasn't my fault. It was I was in a car with okay, someone else who's notoriously known for going late everywhere. Okay, true. Why did you let him drive? I have no idea. I just thought I could sit and, and he lives relax. the furthest as well. I know. <laughs> he lives the furthest. I don't know what we were thinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyway, moving That's on. That's nice though. She invited like all your friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but nice. I didn't get to enjoy it because they just missed Fair. it. Hey, don't lie. We got some good pictures that day. Oh, we did. We did. We did. Oh, we saw it the other day actually. Is oh, that amazing. the wedding that was posted on TikTok? No. No. no okay. That was. Should we say names? We can't say names. No, no. No, we won't say names. Oh, wait. Because that went very viral. That was Evan's wedding. Oh, is that Evan's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you say, yeah. Fair play. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, yeah. So Bengali weddings are known for quite known for being quite big. Um, but nowadays, because I don't really have that many like mm. close people, I would want to invite anyway. Yeah. So mm. I probably have something small. But then depends on the wife. True. Because yeah. I can uh, say all this, and my wife would like hold yeah. a massive one. Because obviously, Muslim women, yeah. Obviously, any woman in general, their wedding is a huge day. Especially when they're younger, like kids, they find us most. I know. I know. For you, you got quite lucky. Yeah. yeah you got chilled out. But I do want to ask you guys. Yeah, go on. <clears throat> say that this is a hard question because. We all know what the answer should be, mm-hmm. <clears throat> but how do you go about it in a sense? So say you would love to just have a small, do, do your nikah and um, a wear lima, like the, a little bit of food for the family and everything, small one and go, and that's it. Mm-hmm. And like a nice honeymoon. But your wife really wants this big wedding, but she wants music. She wants nah. like free mixing and dance and all this stuff. Like what, do you do in that position? Well, I'll teach her the uh, schools of Islam. I'd say <laughs> the schools of Islam. Which one? <laughs> no, no, Name obviously. one. Which one do you follow? Name one. I'm not gonna name one because I'm not sure you can see. Oh nah. Oh, nah, I mean, you know what I mean, though. I'm talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. the, the <laughs> like, like, not, to, not to listen, <laughs> not to listen to music. You know, you know about, I think people comment we're bullying. We're not bullying him. No, they are. We're not bullying no, they are. <laughs> we're not, we're not bullying him. him. Oh, my You dude. know what I mean? I just said the wrong word. I apologize. But you know what I'm talking about? Like, haram, music's haram. Or yeah. macro, I'm not haram, but. No, it's haram. Is it haram? Yeah, okay. it's haram. Yeah. <laughs> um, my bad. 
<laughs> I'm learning today. I'm going. You are learning. You're still young. Yeah. It's not like we're freestyling all the way here. But yeah, anyway, yeah. Um, um, things do things. The thing is, I don't know it's bad. Now the counter, by the way, we said about twice. I'm a bit of a sucker for weddings, yeah. which is bad because, like, <laughs> for me, I'm like, nah, none of that. But then you catch me at my boy's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this guy's doing backflips. <laughs> He's just doing backflips. But I have been getting better at like avoiding them type of settings. But mm. yeah, it's just hard. So like, it's hard to like Never manage good. this. Yeah. Obviously, you, we know what's right and what you should do and shouldn't be doing these things. And alhamdulillah, I was able to implement that in my mm. own marriage. But mm. I think it was partly due to the fact that my wife was also on the same page as me. But now imagine you found someone and you're now just the wedding is like an issue. Like, what do you do? Uh, I feel like you'd fall more for what she wanted, even though you should be leading, if that makes sense. Now, you, now you're right. And sometimes people get pressure from the family. Like if, mm. if it's the first girl that's getting married or like the firstborn or like this. Like you know, the these firstborn or the, or the youngest. They want to have this big yeah. wedding for them because they want a celebration. But I feel like there's a lot of like, a lot of bad that can happen. And it's, I don't think it's the best way to start marriage. True. It, it is a very sticky situation. Like, do you start your marriage off in like a bit of a haram way? Mm -hmm. I guess it's, it's about your intentions as well. And it? like, it's like, if you can't control it, I think Allah will forgive you. Like mm -hmm. if you just can't control it. But I, I've seen probably, so there's some people out there probably like even just didn't get married because of it. There's probably people oh, out there. Oh, true. Surely you can't control it. It's just it, too though. much for them. Nah, because sometimes there's a lot of pressure from in-laws. But then then if, if, if the pressure from the in-laws are making you do haram, then don't go through with the wedding. No, but. You that's never hard. Know. That's hard. Though. Imagine you love this person. Yeah, yeah. No, I like, hear that, but then again, love plays a big part. Like, it, does, it does, and I'm obviously I'm talking because I'm not in love. Yeah, but believe tell love, me this. Yeah. yeah, you find the the perfect girl. You find the perfect girl. Yeah, yeah. Everything's good. She's on her din and yeah. everything. I <laughs> like, did that. Yeah, she's on her din and mm -hmm. everything. She wants to get married. Inshallah. Do things properly. Inshallah. But her parents, on the other hand. It's in their culture. They've grown up <clears> with it. She's the first daughter, yeah. first born, first yeah. to get married out of all her siblings. And they want to have a ma an amazing big wedding. Mm -hmm. And they're adamant. They're like, no, we have to. We, sometimes they save their whole life. The whole life of the child, they've been saving, put money in a pot to like throw a Do wedding. Do the big wedding. And, Straight away. And they're oh. so adamant. Yeah. Oh, you thought he was like, yeah. oh, 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 <laughs> do the big wedding. Like, no, yeah, finish, no, 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 let's no. finish. Money in the pot, they're paying. <laughs> <laughs> Take it all. Yeah. Um, what... And then now they're saying you have to have a big wedding yeah. and all this stuff. If you and your wife don't want it, but they put a lot of pressure on it. It's going to cause you to actually have an issue with them and you don't want to start your, wed uh, your marriage off with you and your, your in-laws having like bad taste for each other in the yeah, sense yeah. of like, oh, he did this, he disrespected us. Mm -hmm. What do you do? That's pressure, bro. I'll tell them to get remarried and do a big wedding. Why the hell are they putting the stress on us, bro? <laughs> the hell? If they really want a massive wedding with bare Wait, music and bare free mix, and do you, it yourself. So would you leave the potential I wouldn't. I wouldn't wife? leave the girl, but I would sit down with the in-laws and be like, listen, it's our big day. I don't want to take haram. I want it to be as many blessings as possible. Yeah, but that's the answer, though. That, that is that, beautiful. That is beautiful, but the answer is... I just is think you fold under pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Yeah, definitely. I de probably will. Yeah, He's so funny. He goes, I'd sit them down. As soon as they say, we want to be... Okay, yeah, we'll do whatever <laughs> yeah, yeah, you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, like... He's saying that... Your pole as well? <laughs> say no more. I'm down. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying that even if you say that to them... Yeah. What you said, that's still the answer. That's still what the answer is going to be. That we, we still have to do. But this. why you, do their parents do get you're massive saying it. it? It's me and the girl. But some cultures are just. Well, Shatner girl, you're right. Say that again. <laughs> some cultures are just different, bro. They're, they're, there's a lot. And do you know what's hard about that situation? You're this new guy coming in. It's almost like, do you have say? Like, she's been our daughter since we gave birth yeah. to her. She's, we're looking, she's under our roof, under our thing. Yeah. We want this for her. You're just some random guy that's coming in. Yeah, but I'm taking her under my roof now. Yeah, I think some of them are just a bit like. I do get that. that I'll be honest. Yeah. If it comes down to that for me, I wouldn't be too fast. I'd be like, just have the big wedding. Really? Like, yeah, but you're not going to be happy. If I though. if I love this girl, yeah, because yeah. you know, with me, it's very hard for me to even like like someone mm -hmm. like that. So yeah. if I if like because I might have to I might have to wait another ten years to find someone I like. You mm -hmm. get me? So I might have to just take that and do you be think like, it falls into your intentions. Then do you think potentially? I don't know. Obviously, guys, we're not scholars or anything yeah. like that. Do you think it could potentially like fall into? Allah sees your intention that you don't actually want this. I don't know. So I, I was kind of saying that before. It's still a sin, isn't it? It's still a sin, 100%. But yeah, but we've, we've seen, I know people personally quite religious and they've had big weddings, but yeah, alhamdulillah, yeah. They've, they've had good uh, relationships after that. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. No other people themselves. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> but it's all right, after that wedding, they found a new girl. Yeah, it went yeah, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you can still have a, have a big wedding and make it halal. Halal, sorry. 
Like you without can. the free mixing and without the music and all that. Yeah, yeah. you can. Yeah, that, you that's how like some religious Bengali weddings are. There's mm. segregation. You get me? People. See, that's that's I'll do that. Yeah, and there's no music. What we do here is we everyone eat food. So, be quiet. And that's so it. an example of this year is like <laughs> for my, my sister's wedding. Yeah, shut so up and eat. My sister's um, in laws are very religious. Yeah, mm. so they didn't want music at the wedding. Alhamdulillah. Um, I think it wasn't. I don't think it was segregated. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. But we didn't have music for the wedding. Yeah, but my sister, my my brother in law, they wanted a bit more. Yeah, so the, they did. A, they had like a wedding video in it, like yeah. But that wedding video does have music in it. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Sort of thing. But at the but wedding, at, but at the event, there was no music. Oh, okay. So did they get like everyone to like dance to nothing and then? Edit there, there, it there was no one dancing. There, was, like not, there was no one dancing. Relax. But it was like the <laughs> silent raves where yeah, everyone has. Was, you can't hear all you hear is the footsteps. This well, is like the, then they edit it after. I was saying you would know if you got there on time, but. Um, <laughs> Ah, uh, yo, 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 welcome to Shaquille's sister's wedding. We're about to dance like we're in heaven. Hey, Double. come on. <laughs> oh, whoa. To be fair, you can't dance in heaven, though. You yeah, can't dance be in fair, heaven. You, yeah, can. you can. Yeah. You can dance in heaven, man. Inshallah, inshallah, inshallah yeah. we'll get there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Inshallah, inshallah, you guys all get there as well. What are saying? You're right. <laughs> oh, I've got a question though. This episode's Wait, been all over the place. I was going to say, yeah. I don't even know. Guys, can you comment down below? Like, has this even been fun? I have no idea. Nah, well, this is a good one though. In, like, say, inshallah, inshallah, we <laughs> you lifted it to the last minute to say it. Inshallah, inshallah <laughs> we make it to heaven, yeah? Inshallah. What is the first thing you're doing? Like, what's the first thing you're asking for in can heaven? I, oh, can like, you, wait, you know when you, because I've, I've heard two different things. Apparently, oh. like, obviously there's, there's different tiers of yeah. the heaven, correct? But even the lowest tier. No, I know, yeah, obviously. Crazy. Yeah, but I'm saying like, I've heard that apparently on like the lower tier, this can be completely wrong, by the way, you only get like a couple of wishes. Is that true? No. Don't no, don't know. give me that face. You know I'm, gen- I'm asking yeah. a genuine question. The thing is, we, I don't, we don't know enough. Obviously, we don't. Sure. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I'm pretty sure, double check everyone, don't take me for word, but I don't think it works like that. You don't I don't, I know. I, I, you I, that's have three wishes, heard. that's all you get. You're going to be content for the rest of your life. No, yeah. of course, of course. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying like, all right, if I was to go up there and go into heaven, I'll have my yard and everything like that. I'll probably just be I'll like, my yard. burn it. <laughs> Let me try a bit of wine. Why not? I've always wanted to try it. Wine, wine, try. Hello up there. Do you know what I would do? You'd get all the boys Bongo. <laughs> One huge game. But, but who, win, who wins at Bongo? Of heaven, who, nah, come it's on. my perfect heaven, so I would win every single time. Yeah. By the way, this guy's a sore loser, by the way. What are you no, saying? Terrible loser, terrible loser. No, I'm not a terrible loser. Once I've lost, I accept it. It's not that. It's I'll fight to the death. This, this guy didn't injure him. This guy risked no. risk his own back. Can I say something? Go Basically, on. we're playing Bongo, me, him and Ilyas. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. The, um, I passed the ball. And then they were both in between the ball right here, yeah? Mm-hmm. Elias kind of took a step and he nudged a little bit. I promise you no, now- Elias took a step, wasn't kind of- Yeah, okay, step. cool. Two nudge, you well, nudged. No, he Elias took a step and then stopped. So then I he- hesitated for a second. Hesitate, hesitate. But he took the step first and then stopped. And I, because he stopped, I was like, what, what's going on? And, yeah. I, and I moved like the tiniest bit. You see how passionate he's getting? Because this is what, I promise you now, I might, I don't want to say wallah, but genuinely when it was 10 minutes of just them two arguing, I went sat down and went on my phone. Not bro, arguing, it's I've been Not there. arguing, obviously not, there. but disputing. I've argued there. Let me bombing. tell you something about myself, there. yeah. It's, yeah. And I mean this in, I feel like, not in like a vein where anything, but I feel like I try to tackle every problem or situation as logically as possible. So when someone's not try- understanding this logic, it, that's what stresses me out. And I have to keep explaining it to them until they can see it and accept it. So my logic to this, yeah. So the rule is, Ilias guys, was in the fault, by the way. The f- game is one touch, one bounce. So the ball can only bounce once and you get one touch each. Now, if Emin's kicked it between us in the middle, it's one of our responsibilities to go for it, yeah? Now, my logic is this. Normally, if we both just stayed still and it went straight past us and didn't do anything, me and Elias would have to play off for it because we didn't do anything and it was a ball that you could easily get. Now, my logic was this. If the ball's going that way and Elias has already, like, I'm watching Elias and he's turned and taken a step and in my head I'm thinking, oh, He's going for it. I don't have to move. And then he stops and it makes me hesitate. I'm like, oh, am I meant to go get it? It's the onus is on Elias because what he's done is accepted responsibility mm. that this is my ball. But just because he saw me and, and stopped, mm. it's his fault for going for it in the first place. Do you know what I mean? Elias was so, in the wrong he, way. Didn't, he kept saying, but wait, but I, I saw you and I stopped. And I say, I understand. It doesn't matter what you saw, but what logically you, you went for it. All he had to do was do a drop ball again. 
No, no that's what can't. we do. We do one v ones if it's really like. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Sorry, so oh, one v. Yeah. All you have to do is that. No, but I can't no, like. like I'll be ten honest. minutes of argument. Oh, I can't, crazy. No, I can't move forward until min- someone accepts because he was like, mm, bro, it took I don't so see long. it. I don't see how that works. And I was like, I had to keep breaking it down. Until Ilyas is another it. one, by the way. Like, if he thinks you're wrong, yeah, he, yeah, won't, yeah, he, he won't give up either. He won't give up either. So you're both clashing. They'll argue for ten minutes, but I won't lie. Ilyas was in the wrong because he took the step. I did say that the start, but Ilyas was backing him like he was. It's how serious Bongo is. It's how serious it is. My guy is here now on a poddy trying to look like he's part of the Kalo Cash gang. Never, never. He was like. I don't know. Uh, you guys saw it. Uh, uh, they sat down. <laughs> that, was, that, was a, not, that was a very good impression. No, he, wow. did not, he did not sit <laughs> up and be like, hey, Abe's right. This is it. I did. Say, well, I didn't. I don't remember I doing that. The first five minutes, I was like, all right, cool. I'm not getting into this. The last five minutes, I was like, listen, I did. I saw it because I saw both perspectives. I was like, Elias, you did take a step. I'll say that you, you have to take the life for that. That's exactly what I said. Don't remember that. Okay. All right, it's fine. Well, you don't want to remember that. One thing I do remember is ping pong, yeah? How many times did we play ping pong? Because this guy, cause he couldn't beat me at ping pong, didn't he? Yeah? You could have ping pong. Bro, 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 listen, listen. We used to we go to ch- Because one thing you can beat no, me. No, 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 no. So, so I've got two things here. <laughs> <laughs> ESports as well. Oh, yeah, ESports no. FC. Yeah, I'll beat you at FIFA. <laughs> no, I, I'll be honest, yeah. So, FIFA, yeah, I, can smack you, I can smack you guys on FIFA, yeah. Ilias, oh my God. I, st- cold, yeah. I stopped playing FIFA because of Ilias. Really? I just I ain't got it in me no more. I like he made me sweat. <laughs> like, me and Abe was a duo. Yeah. We did bits that day. We're bit, I think I'm a good duo though. Oh, we were good. I'm as a well. good duo. Come on, bro. I said duo. Duo. Nah. Duo. When us three were playing um, foot drafts. That was sick. That wasn't it. Did we yeah. have free controllers? Well, yeah, one time we had free controllers and Did the we? other time I was manager. Oh, okay, yeah. sick. You're a manager. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> there's there's, no, th- there's was... times he comes over here, Abe don't let him play. Yeah, he don't <laughs> let me play. <laughs> Hey. I'll be like, yo, um, hey, should you let, should let him in play? Like, no, no, calm. No, no, he's, no, he's calm here. That he's calm here. Once. <laughs> no, it's happened twice. That hasn't happened twice. That's, That's hilarious, once. though. But you just sat there like, I'm calm. No, I'll be, I was like, I didn't mind. I'll be No, but can I say one thing? I mean, it's a, it's a good and a bad trick because you put yourself in this position where you don't speak up for something that no, you want. It, 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 it always just be like, oh, that's all right, I won't take it. And sometimes I'll be in a store and I'll ask him, do you want anything? And he'll say no. But I know deep down he's dying and would love something. Like, I'll have something. Even today. He's passed out in the seat. Can I say something? <laughs> Sometimes I'll make him pay for it. Yeah. Like today, I came in with a Kinder Bueno and I know damn well this guy wants a Kinder Bueno <laughs> because it's his favorite chocolate and he will never say no to food. And like, I pull it out just before we film this episode. I go, Emin, do you want one? And he goes, no. And I know deep down he wants it. And normally I'd be like, I'll just take it. But this time I was like, no, do you know what? You can't stand up for yourself. I am going to eat I it. I can not stand up for myself. Actually, I just actually, you offered it to me. I said no. Yeah, he did. He did. I, can I say something? I actually wasn't offering it to you. Oh, well, you're not. You I didn't want to pass. He's like, no, I don't want it. I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. You, <laughs> you freak. You freak. Nah, it's because cool. you gave me the speech before it is. So I think no, you know why? It's because yeah. I generally, I'm not too fast. He's fussed. lying, by the way, guys. But anyway. I'm not too fast to be If I don't get it, I don't get it. Like last time, when we went um, around the uncle's That's house. Strange. I let all of you guys play on a VR headset before I did. Do you remember that? It's good to have self-control. Yeah, I, d- I don't mind. Like, I don't mind if I miss out or like not. Like mm. when, when I was being manager, I was enjoying myself as we well. We weren't listening to you, bro. No, no, <laughs> yeah, you guys were. Press over here. And I didn't he was. Shit. He was listening to me. <laughs> I, I was saying that like, one time. I'm, I was as well. I no, was. I was like, the one time was us and, and Ilias when we played foot drops and we got to like mm. the second game. <laughs> 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 so we need to run that back. Bro, foot drops yeah. are so hard. Uh, this, this, this FIFA. I'm down. Well, uh, <laughs> this FIFA. Uh, foot drafts is just so difficult. Do you not think this this FIFA in general? Because this, this really is the FIFA it. only yeah. FIFA I haven't played because I don't have a gaming console. But not anymore. You not don't. anymore. No, I, don't have, I gave it to my older brother. Okay, fair. Yeah. Xbox. It's been um, so annoying, bro. Yeah, it's long. But um, yeah, there's only one I've played, and it's just the mechanics are weird now. Can't lie. Yeah, it's, it's the penalties as well. Like, if I, I penalties are right. I'm saying it's it's a different. Me- um, uh, yeah. the, the free kicks are the weirdest. But now free kicks have been terrible for like five years now. That's true. They ruined free yeah. kicks. They ruined it completely. I used to be so good at free kicks. I could I could score a free kick with like anyone, any corner, bro, because I was so good at it, and I just can't. FIFA 20, I was cold at free kicks. No, FIFA, no, FIFA 20. They changed it. FIFA 20. No, no, FIFA 21 was when they changed no, it. But is that FIFA 20 the one where they? Sorry, sorry, girls, by the way. Yeah, but it's FIFA no, some, 20. Some of them might. Yeah, but it's FIFA 20, the one year where they made crossing impossible, as in like headers just won't go in. That's FIFA 21. And FIFA 20 was the one. Before that. No, because I'm obviously. I'm, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quick maths. Oh, right, yeah. Come right, yeah. on. Yeah, because obviously Liverpool, we had. Oh, I spot Liverpool. We had Trent. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't we, care. We had Trent and Robertson, <laughs> and these guys were amazed at whipping the ball in, but I just couldn't do anything with it because the game just didn't let you do it. Yeah, but, but anyway, Robertson's got shit. Actually, on FIFA. F- forget this on guy. FIFA. On FIFA, relax. Oh, it's, on FIFA. He's got good whipping, though. Good on crosses. FIFA, he's a bit shit in real life. I say it's pretty good, though. He's got, he's pretty good. Trent, Trent's a good guy. Okay, guys, 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 move, move, move topic, move topic. You guys have Come just on. witnessed a small segment
<laughs> and they're just going off and off and it's like an hour's conversation I'm just there like thing is cool. this guy can get into football but he's choosing he, I thought he tried to you no, tried I'm still, to I'm still he going bought to. the t-shirts and everything no I'm just... still going to and I still support Liverpool and I'm very excited for the Champions League because I feel like that's going to be my official start you guys from the, the start yeah, yeah, yeah. of it some people we are, are. some people are <laughs> yeah. um, Europa League <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be there from the start and be able to f- that's when I feel like I'm officially going to start I started Sorry. watching at the end of this league I get that. Like I get that. Yeah, just bun yeah, it off yeah. after that, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just having a bit of like a. He's in the RNA slot. Uh, era. But I have a weird relationship with football. Like I've had like a love hate thing with football. Obviously, mm. when it's going great, it's it's good. Yeah. When it goes when it goes shit, it's shit. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. But also like there's a lot of politics in football now as well. Yeah. Um, and like even Liverpool our sponsors. I'm not rating our sponsors. Yeah. So they're linked with that sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just not my heart and really in it that much anymore. Fair yeah. enough. I feel you. I feel it's what it is. You. But yeah, guys, I think that's it for today's episode. Thank you lot for tuning in. Emin, bring the beat in. <laughs> guys. You should have saw what I did there. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> and thank you. For listening. <laughs> thank you for another ep. Me and my boys, yeah, we're the best. Yeah, you know, we did it right. Episode on Saturday tonight. Uh uh-uh. uh. Come back again. Hope you join us for the friends. Hope you join us on the Patreon. We can get a second episode on Wednesday. It's nice. very great. Me and my boys, yeah, we do it the best. And we're on the podcast with our chest. Talk about Bangladesh. They know hey. me. What's <laughs> about Bangladesh even more? Yeah. Talk about even more. Come on. Big up the Desh. Big up the Desh. I put, I put that bang in Bangladesh. You get me? But listen, I, I definitely going to go shut up very cringe, Allah. may Allah allow me to go and be healthy there and not get any illnesses and really enjoy myself and I want to document it all because I want you lot to see cheese how amazing it be, be, hey. be with me and my G, G? drinking tea drinking tea, tea. Oh. in Sri Mongol uh, in Mongol yeah. something like rhymes in Mongol with my brothers in Wait, playing Pro. on a bongo Ooh. wearing that brand Kango Kango oh. sipping on a tango Oh. if you're listening and you got this far comment oh. down below Bangladesh. Bangladesh, that's the one. Come on. With Bangladesh, the fl- or the, f- the flag as well, do with, whatever. No, it has to be with Bangladesh in all caps with the flag next yeah, to it. Yeah, I'm spell up. it right. Big up. And then after that, it has to be a paragraph on how amazing this episode is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> By the way, I'm sorry for saying I put the bang in Bangladesh. That was very cringy. <laughs> oh, you said that? <laughs> yeah, I did. That was very You've been saying stuff like that since I'm so sorry. you were 13. Have I? Yeah. Right, since he bullied you? Yeah, since I had his friends. <laughs> <laughs> since his friends liked me. <laughs> yeah. They all just started talking about Bangladesh all of a sudden. I was like, yeah, why? Yeah, yeah. Why? What about Morocco? Bang. Yeah, like, oh, it's your fucking Filipino, mate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'd love to go to the Philippines as well. Yeah. Yeah, too fair. Yeah, so we just tour the world? Things. Should we? I forgot I got a whole wife at home. Oh, we I should, should probably yeah, be touring yeah. with her. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, me yeah. and my boys, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah but every, every country, we've got to be careful about the food and water. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's very, 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 very true. America. Yeah. I'll be ending now because I've got one funny thing, Do you know Steve-O? Yeah, yeah, so Steve. No, 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 no from Jackass, Jackass, yeah. from Jackass. Yeah, so he he can take anything. So mm-hmm. he said when he was like thirteen or something, yeah, that he went to I think it was Egypt. I'm not too sure on a school trip, mm-hmm. and he saw a man, yeah, because they they were told in school not to drink the water and stuff like that, yeah, it's cause it'll, it'll mess yeah, you up, yeah. Course. And he saw a local man go into like the river, yeah, with his toothbrush and like put like wash his toothbrush and brush his teeth with it, and like that's why the water spit out and stuff like that. He thought, screw it, let me try this, yeah. So he did it. And he got a little bit ill, but he was fine. He drank it. He got a little bit ill, he was fine, yeah. But since then, every country he's been to, he's tried their tap water. He's tried, like, that sort of stuff. And he's just built a mad immunity. He, like, he doesn't First. get ill. He just doesn't get ill. Do you know what? That's kind of smart. We're all holding ourselves back. So much. But I don't have anything. that You don't even have, like, your body can't build up the antibodies and the mm. immunity to fight whatever you come across so that if you have one bit of salad, you're done. Like yeah. Shaquille was. Uh, yeah, for a whole week, man, I was peak. <laughs> was man so was peak. done. I've never seen a man no, no, done no, what, so bad. What, what, yeah, if I wasn't, if I didn't have help, yeah, I would have died. Really? That's how, that's how bad it was. Did you have to go on the drip and that? Yeah, I was I on think the I remember you saying, yeah, yeah, you on did on one drip. of those posts that people do when they want no, attention. No, no, no. no, no I in didn't, the hospital. No, I didn't post it. <laughs> Man's so, out here. Wallah well, didn't post it. Even my sister, even my sister didn't know. I didn't even tell my sister. He took a picture of his hand it. with a flipping yeah. thing. Did you send me a snap or something? I, I think no, because we something. talked about it afterwards. When I came oh, back, yeah, I was like, yeah, 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 I'll just bail. Oh, that's bit, so yeah. sad. I think I remember seeing a picture though. I yeah. can't know. I probably showed you a picture. All I saw, it was like a hand. There was like one of those things with the drip. And, yeah. the, like, and there was a reflection through the window. And I could see the cow in the back. <laughs> <laughs> the guys, cow that was after you. <laughs> the cow that was after you. There's just not cows in Bangladesh. I'm, I'm trying to get this guy cancelled, even though I'm on his podcast. Like, yo. um, you don't want to come back here? No, joke. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we will see you lot, inshallah, on Wednesday on the Patreon. Come on. Where you can subscribe on that first tier and get an extra episode every week. Jeez. Please, guys, make dough in this room. That shit's better. Um, yeah, I mean, yo. Listen. 
we've got two guys here that are still new to podcasting. <clears> the <throat> environment is still new. So bear with us. We're building up. We're getting there slowly. Mm-hmm. And to be honest, I think we'll do all right. Inshallah. Inshallah. Yep. See you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.